Thomas and Percy, best friends forever. Thomas and Percy, best friends forever. You're my best friend. No, you're my best friend. Thomas and Percy, best friends forever. New friend. Now, everybody on the island of Sodor knows that Thomas and Percy are the two bestest friends. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Percy. But even best friends sometimes argue and fight over things. This is the story of the new friend. New friend. On his way home from shunting trucks, Percy happened upon a basketball that had been left in the woods. Oh, wow. Look at this cool basketball. Why don't you come with me, Mr. Basketball? We can show Thomas. After a long day of shunting trucks, Thomas made his way back to Tidmouth Sheds when he ran into Percy. Hello, Percy. Hello, Thomas. I'd like to introduce you to my new friend. New friend? Yes, look. Oh, cool. It's a basketball. Yes, it is. Not just any basketball, but... Mr. Basketball. Oh, okay. Well, hello, Mr. Basketball. I'm heading back to the shed, so I'll see you later, Percy. Okay, see you, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas didn't think much of the new basketball, but he thought it was a little bit odd that Percy had called him Mr. Basketball. That is kind of strange that he called him Mr. Basketball. Oh, well. <laughs> The next day started off like any other, except for one small thing, Mr. Basketball. Good morning, Percy. Good morning, Thomas. Aren't you going to say good morning to Mr. Basketball? Uh, yeah, good morning, Mr. Basketball. <laughs> well, we're going to go deliver mail. See you later, Thomas. Yeah, see you, Percy. I wonder why he didn't say goodbye to you. <laughs> oh, hey guys, what's so funny? Mr. Basketball was just telling us a hilarious joke. Why don't you say it again so Thomas can hear? <laughs> I don't get it. You don't get it? The chicken, it went across the road. <laughs> uh, okay. I gotta go push some stuff around, so I'll see you guys. Yeah, bye, Thomas. Oh, Mr. Basketball, you sure are funny. Thomas was starting to get confused. I don't get it. This whole Mr. Basketball thing is starting to get on my nerves. Percy, now you're spending time together at the pond? What is going on? Oh, yeah, Thomas. We're just hanging out, watching the water, you know, doing pond stuff. It's just a basketball, Percy. What? Why would you say such a mean thing, Thomas? Because it's true. You're talking to a basketball. Oh, oh that's not very nice, Thomas. You're being very mean. Whatever, dude. I'm going back to the sheds. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, so we were just like hanging out by the pond and Thomas got all mad about it and just like steamed away. Well, maybe. I never thought of it like that. You again? That's it. I've had enough of this basketball nonsense. Thomas, what's the matter? This basketball is what's the matter. Ever since you found this basketball, you haven't even spent any time with me. Oh, I see. So, you're jealous of Mr. Basketball? I'm not jealous. I just think it's silly that you're spending all of this time with an inanimate object. <gasps> Thomas the Train. How could you say such a thing? He's sitting right here. Yeah, well, I'll say it again. Mr. Basketball, I've had enough of you hanging around here, so you can leave. <laughs>
Thomas, you did it. You scored the game-winning shot. Yeah. Basketball. 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 Basket, basket, basketball. 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 Basket, basket, basketball. Mr. Basketball, I'm sorry for being so mean earlier today. I guess I was just jealous that Percy had a, another friend other than me. Oh, Thomas, I'm sorry. I didn't know that I was ignoring you. I was just excited to share my new friend with my best friend. We will always be best friends. That's right, Thomas. Always. Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. The end.